Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And here is Hearts Take Flight. I hope everybody's having a great day and take care of yourself and take care of each other. The first thing we're gonna start with is actually doing the heart so that you can practice it on paper. When I start with the feathered heart, I start at the top. I do my first side. I come back up the other side, close it off. I come out of there with my first feather frond and I tend to kind of lean it over and around. And I come right down into the cleavage portion of the heart. And then my next one, I lay right in there and I bring that right back to the cleavage portion of the heart. Next one, right back up. Next one. Now I can start moving down the spine. And in this case, it's actually the heart. Lay it in come around. Now notice these feather fronds. I'm tucking them into the previous one, so I'm backtracking on the previous one and coming around the open side to complete that side of the feather front. So I'm going to lay that next one in, come around, and my curve, that nice smooth curve, is headed up towards where I came from. So in other words, I'm not doing a feather front that lays in and then heads up and I just head over to the spine. You're gonna get those knuckle looking feather fronds. You wanna make sure that you have a nice smooth arc or curve shape heading back up towards the cleavage of the heart. Lay it in, come around with that nice smooth shape. Lay it in, curve it up, lay it in, curve it up, lay it in, curve it up. Now I'm at the bottom. My next frond is gonna lay into the previous come down and then head back uphill. So notice it looks like you're taking a heart and you're setting it right in a vase. And notice that I have pretty much the same distance on both sides. Now I'm gonna lay my next ones in and I'm gonna stretch them down about the same length as we have on the other side. Lay it in, head uphill, that curve heads uphill. Notice how the arc is turned a bit. Lay it in, head uphill, head uphill, Head uphill, head uphill, head uphill. Since we're gonna do an all over with this at the top, instead of meeting and closing, we're just gonna do a swirl. And then we're gonna start to echo around the heart. When you practice this, you're gonna practice a couple pages of the heart feathered right side up. And you're just gonna do right side up heart with a swirl on top, you're gonna start to echo Stop, lift your pencil, you're gonna try it again. Now with any all over, the motif, and in this case the feathered heart is the motif, you also wanna practice on paper in every direction. That way when you go and do this on the machine or you start practicing it on paper as an all over, you already have the muscle memory built into your brain on how to flip it and turn it and make it all mesh together. So now we're gonna do it upside down, come down, Come up, and it doesn't matter which side you come off of. Everybody has their own natural direction that they like to move in. So we're gonna come around. We're tucking those feather fronds right into the previous, coming around, lay the next one into the previous, coming around with that nice smooth curve shape. And again, we're heading back up towards the cleavage of the heart. Up, up. We're gonna drop in a teardrop, head back uphill, lay your next one in. Head uphill with that nice, smooth curve. Lay it in, lay it in. Curly Q swirl, and I'm just gonna start to echo around. Now we're gonna take the heart elements and we're gonna turn it into a nice edge to edge. So we're gonna start in the upper left corner of your quilt, or in this case, on your paper. We start with our heart. We're gonna feather it. And again, lay that feather in, come around with that nice curve shape, curve uphill, curve uphill, curve uphill, curve uphill, drop in my teardrop at the bottom, come up, notice that I've got about the same distance down there, I'm gonna start feathering up, reach it out towards the binding edge of your quilt, feather, I'm gonna throw in an early swirl and I'm gonna echo that out. Now, we want a lot of echoing on this because this is going to trapunto this heart and that's what's so nice about this design. You can't over echo it. The, you can't have, in other words, you can't have too much echoing. You're just going to continue echoing and then at any point you want, you're going to come off with a short vein or vine and you're going to hang another heart 
off of that and then we're going to feather that, feather that, feather that. Go all the way around. And again, we've practiced this in different directions, so we're not going to have all of our hearts aiming the same way. Now, I don't have a, a nice open spot up here, so I can go ahead and throw in my swirl early, go in and echo that portion out, come around. Now I want to echo this feathered heart into the previous heart. Come up, echo that into what you already have. Think of you're adding grapes to a bunch. And that's going to get very cohesive to what's already there. Now we're actually going to start quilting out our all over. So we start with our heart. I go up with that first feather. Nestle it in, in towards the cleavage, lay it in, come around, 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 in, come around. We're going to drop in a teardrop, head back uphill, lay it in, come around, lay it in. Notice the curve up towards the top. Now I'm reaching out to the edge of the quilt. I'm going to throw in my swirl and I'm going to echo my way right out of there. And I want to echo that first feathered heart a few times just to get it to pop. Echo around. Come back. And at any time you want, you can come off that feathered heart and those echoes with a new heart. And then you're going to lay your feather fronds. Lay your feather frond, lay it in, come around, up towards the top, up towards the top. Feather frond lays into the previous, comes around. Drop in your next teardrop, head back uphill, lay it in, curve, lay it in, curve. And again, I didn't leave a lot of space at the top, so I'm going to go ahead and echo that out. Why didn't I leave a lot of space at the top? Well, that just happens sometimes when you do your vines. Now when that happens, remember you don't have to feather all the way up the other side of that heart. You can throw on your swirl early and do like I just did, which was echo it out so that it blends together. Now I'm going to come around. We've echoed that into the previous feather. If you get lost, just keep echoing. And again, whenever you want, you can come off with another short vine, another heart, feather in towards the cleavage, that curve should go in, curve in, curve in, curve in, curve in, curve in, in, in. in drop in my teardrop, head uphill, and again, I don't have a lot of room here, so I'm just going to put one partial frond and then echo that right into my previous work. And you're going to do this and work your way all the way across the quilt, row by row, and when you finish and you remove it from the frame, especially if you use like a puffy batting, an 80-20 or a wool, which is my favorite with this design, you're going to get all of these wonderful trapuntoed hearts all over the quilt. So play with that. Practice on paper first. Take it to your machine and have a fantastic Valentine's Day. <laughs>